I will show you how to store few data fast or much data async using Unreal's own system. For the tutorial I made the simple UI where you can click to increase the score by 5 and we will use Unreal system to save and load the score. To be able to store data in Unreal we need to create a blueprint which inherits from save game. In this blueprint we can now define on the left side under variables exactly the data we want to save. I want to save only one integer for my score. After that you only have to compile and that's it. Here you can add all the important data for your project. In the event graph itself you normally don't add any logic. Now we can open the widget and go to the event graph. Let's start with saving. First we need a create save game object node. Here we select our blueprint that we created before. For the next step, some people cast the return value to the blueprint class you created, in my case blueprint save game. And you had to work like this in Unreal Engine 4. But in the current version of Unreal you don't have to do this anymore. It's also been updated in the documentation as well. Since we are saving our score, let's take the variable out of the blueprint and set it to our local score value. That's all the data I want to save. Now we can use the node save game to slot. But you have to be careful here. If I want to save only little data, like in my case, I can do it this way. But if you want to save or load a lot of data for a big project, like any big changing open world game, or a game with a lot of NPCs who are holding data, or generally if you want to use a loading screen, you have to use async save and load. The async nodes also have two execute output pins. The first one is executed immediately and the second pin after the saving is done. But as I said, for me the normal save game to slot is enough. Now drag the return value into the save game object and then you can choose the slot name. This is interesting if you want to have multiple save slots. For example, projects in the style of the older Nintendo games where you had often the option to choose between three save slots or for strategy games where you can often save the game in multiple slots. Those are just a few examples, you have to see what fits best for your project. In my case I save everything in one slot called save slot 1. You can leave the user index at zero, but it will be important if you want to implement saving in multiplayer. Now the saving should work. But we can't see the saved value yet, so we create the load system first and test it afterwards. In the load system you can now load the game normally or async. I have already explained what the difference is. In my case I used a load game from slot. Here I will enter the same slot name as above in the save node. But when loading your data you still have to cast to your blueprint after the node. In my case I called the save game blueprint tutorial save game. So I will have to cast the object as a tutorial save game first. Now I can get the variable saved score and set my local score to it. And that's all for loading. What follows now is not relevant for loading, just so that my example already shows the value at startup. You don't have to do that for your project. Let's see if everything works. Nice! If the tutorial was helpful, give it a like and subscribe. Bye!